articulation of our suffering, our pains, our woes, and our happiness. So when someone invades it and rearrange it to make you be talking about pimps and hoes instead of the liberation of African people and fight the powers that be, then you've got a serious problem. They can kill you with your own culture. Annihilated. War correspondent, Bill Jones. We, the people dark and blue, are two and a half million years old. You better understand that we're, we're being uh, uh, annihilated because we don't understand that we're in the Holocaust and that everything comes to an end. And either we'll make it a positive end or we will be annihilated. Time to ride or die. Bill Jones, war correspondent. Consistent with the Global 2000 paper issued to Jimmy Carter, the Trilateral Commission in the New World Order is rolling on people of color and especially African people. I'm never telling you no lie. We're being annihilated. The Global 2000 paper was a paper issued by the United States government saying that because of scarcities, that was an excuse, 2.5 billion people of color had to be erased from the earth, annihilated, because there was not enough to go around. And after that, we had crack, AIDS, Ebola, wars and rumors of wars. We had bird flu. We had all kinds of things riding down on us because we don't understand that we're in the Holocaust and that everything comes to an end. And either we'll make it a positive end or we will be annihilated. Ask me where the people of Tasmania annihilated. Ask me where the red and black people of this land annihilated. Ask me where the Mayan Empire annihilated. Everything that they've touched and came in contact with, they destroyed. They give us no mercy. FEMA and its genocidal program slaughter black men, women, and children. I've been writing for years. Some of my major works is Black Holocaust and uh, Black Holocaust 2000. Showdown is probably the most dynamic book that I've done. The most dynamic book that I've done. This is the one that's going to get me in trouble because they're going to claim I'm calling for a race war of sorts. But what I'm doing is telling you there is going to be a race war. See, I observe social science. I don't instigate it. You feel me? And as those chessboard lines up with the New World Order rolling down on us, what they're killing our people in Katrina, annihilated. What they're killing our people in, in West Africa, annihilated. With them trying to control the land, labor, and resources of the people of Latin America, Africa, China, and everywhere else, there's going to be a showdown. And that showdown is coming right on us quick, fast, and in a hurry. You feel me? So what we have to do is prepare for this. Not in panic, no. But we know it's coming. For example, we were unprepared to handle our business in Louisiana. FEMA in its genocidal program, whose job is not Federal Emergency Management Agency, it's a killing machine. FEMA slaughtered black men, women, and children, and we all became spectators as our brothers and sisters died. FEMA, it's a killing machine. And then they brought in the black, the black water mercenary straight from Iraq. And they went on search and destroy because Governor Blanco of Louisiana said, kill anybody on site who you think is doing the wrong thing. You feel me? We watched the beginning of the final phase of the African Holocaust. Now, what are we going to do about it? Are we just going to sing a simple song or are we going to move African style? It's time to ride. 